Hey, it's Lee Taylor. I'm at 1515 Oakview. It's a house that's been broken into at some point. They boarded up that window. Actually, it looks like just somebody slammed a rock through it, maybe. Maybe a good old-fashioned uh, 45 round. Somebody was trying to do something with this house, and it got stopped. And they've done nothing with the outside to improve it, but they... They must have had less than twenty thousand dollars, and maybe ten, to do anything with. I'm walking downstairs. It's it's real bad, moldy. It's just sick, moldy. It's got a waterproofing issue. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. I'm breathing in all kinds of shitty shit. When you see the black mold, and uh, right right there, this looks like a big old scatological mess. Um, but it could be other natural causes, but that is my guess. Uh, human scatological mess. Dennis, this one is not for you. And uh, unless you want to become a builder in Atlanta, which is what this person tried to do. And they started with the inside, which to me is always the wrong approach. You also, if you look downstairs, you might be able to see it from here. I'll walk you around. They really tried to do a decent interior that would be competitive in the, uh, in the market because it's got a pretty large basement if you want to do something with it, but it would become a two bedroom, one bath with a kitchen upstairs. You could do another bath and bed downstairs. But let me show you from here, it's just easier. This is the moldy mess and it's actually worse on the other side. But they were digging out a foundation back here. If you can see it, they dug it out, framed it. There's actually wiring down there. They were going to do a concrete pour. They set up a silt fence to do it, and then they never got around to it. So a absolute epic fail, as they say here in 2010. If you look way down there in the corner, at the end of this person's fence line, and that person's fence line, there are survey tapes done. And uh, it's a deep lot backed into a watershed area, never be developed. It's covered with thicket, privet, ivy, overgrown with trees and dead trees and all that. So it's nothing much back there. You, you could uh, say possibly there might have been a service alley back there back in the day, but I don't think so. But this lot, you can salvage a few things, concrete block, concrete pad brick on the front there might be some money uh, in the other parts of the house and that would just completely retorque it i would rip it apart and work with some of the very very basic parts of the house um waterproofing is nasty but doesn't look like it's affected the wall too much uh, but you saw inside and that mold was just disgusting so tear down eighty-six thousand. Okay.